Hello everyone and welcome to my next reaction to Classic Who. So, I adored the first two parts of this story. I love the vibe. I love that we're getting back into a horror-esque story and I just can't wait to see what happens next. Let's go. Welcome to my domain. Well, I'm glad to catch some of them. Are we in time for a guided tour? But I fool to mock them. I sent my winged messengers to hunt you down. I sense the power of your mind. Mm. You seek such minds. For Knowledge. <laughs> what? You were summoned. The whole ship to be his servants. Was that when you were just plain science officer O'Connor? What? He was O'Connor. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. So Descendants of the originals. They are the originals. Mm-hmm. We fed and nourished him until now. He is ready to arise. No, no. Won't you join us? Like your other companion. I can't even count on this planet. The boy will be the first uh. of the chosen ones. Boy? What boy? He came here looking for you. The name he used was Adric. Adric? Adric. <laughs> They're like, what? The great one. If you do not join us, you will feed him with your blood. No, no thank you. There's a third choice. What is that? Run. I can destroy the great one. Off you go, Romana. <laughs> oh, no! Ah. Oh, my word! Yeah, time lords. Time lords, the ancient enemies. <gasps> always so anxious to leave, Doctor. Now is the time of our feast. I hear you, O oh Great One. You're ever faithful servant. <laughs> the Doctor. A witch, a command. He's like, oh God. Oh. You have been chosen. Wow. Have... I'm sure they're thrilled. That one single vampire. Suck the life out of an entire planet. One single wow. could suck the life out of an entire planet. Yes. Rubbish. Well, he wasn't a scientist. There are other ways of looking at life. You know, anyway, according to the story, we time lords hunted them down across the universe in a war so long and so bloody that we were sickened of violence forever. So they were all destroyed? One of them escaped, I think. Oh! And? Just vanished into thin air. Mm hmm. Into e-space. I know you. You're Tarek. Tarek the traitor. You run out to join a rebel. Oh! Oh! Get him! <laughs> we don't have time. Go. <laughs> it's just that I once came across a reference to something called the Record of Rassilon in one of the old data books. Uh. Ah. Oh. And it was an emergency instruction. A copy of the book was to be installed in certain time vehicles. What time vehicles? Oh, I don't know, I forget. What time vehicles? Type 40. Psst. The TARDIS is a Type 40. Is it? Yes. <laughs> you are wonderful. Me? Wonderful? Never really thought about it. Oh, wow. Where's the doctor? <laughs> but you're safe, aren't you? Technological rats living safely in their little hole? Sorry. Anyway, that's not what I came to talk about. Aye, aye, aye. Something's happening in the tower tonight. Some kind of ceremony. I shall wait until tonight, gather my people together, and attack the tower. I don't know! You, you must! You and your heroes can watch it on the scanner camera. Woo! When they finish with us, they'll come for you. Oh. Oh, wow. Come on, let's go. We've forgotten about Adric. He's still a prisoner somewhere. We've got to find him. Adric. Where can we start? <laughs> the doctor nice. sounded so annoyed. It's when no one is allowed but You take the TARDIS. And I'll take the inner sanctum. No, you take the TARDIS. I'll take the inner sanctum. Good. Inner sanctum, please. Certainly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. 
Now we're gonna be back with canine. Time for your prisoner trick, would you say? Let's Not go, team. Who wishes to see the prisoner? Zargo sleeps. It's forbidden to disturb him. I take full responsibility. The code key, please. Not like that. Just a little while. Oh! Do you know the lady, Camilla? Well, of course. I just happen to be her blood group separator. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Mm. Information on vampires totally absent from TARDIS data banks. Hmm. Try your folklore section. My folklore section contains vampire lore from 17 inhabited planets. I will begin with Earth, the legend of Count Dracula. No, thank you. Not Dracula. Oh. I can only be destroyed with a wooden stake. Miss this. And that it's not a wooden stake, Terry. I, t I was saying they were going to need some steaks. Maybe. Oh. I'm just wondering if we found him in time. Oh, he got a new outfit. When the bodies were counted, the king vampire, mightiest and most malevolent of all, mm. had vanished. He skedaddled. Into a shadow from time and space. Oh, boy. Until now. Yeah. But any time, Lord, who comes upon this enemy of our people and of all living things shall use all his efforts to destroy him. Oh. Even at the cost of his own life. Oh, wow. Well. How may this creature be destroyed? That's a good question. A really a big stake. <laughs> Therefore, Rassilon ordered the construction of bow ships. Ah. Swift vessels that fired a mighty bolt of steel that transfixed the monsters through the heart, for only if his heart be utterly destroyed. Uh huh. I mean, I wasn't that far off. I died. The mutation must take some time. Oh, Mike. Okay. Okay. Adric, wake up. Oh no. Wake up. Oh no. Someone was whispering to me about. Power and eternal life. Oh! And they're up. Look out! Oh no! Oh no! 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 I like this guy. Oh no! Oh my word! And oh. I must feed on the living. Oh! Ah! Oh! I liked that guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Oh! No. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. She is to be held for sacrifice oh. at the time of arising. Boy. Well, hopefully the doctor will do something about that. <laughs> the relative smallness of each space should render fractional increments more stable. Well, of course. Good boy, K9. <laughs> I can't let my villages attack. You do prefer these toys to human life. Because they are the slow secret of victory. Mm. Why do you think they are so afraid of science? The doctor was a scientist. Like all the rest, he vanished in the tower. Halt! Don't move! Goodbye. I'm awfully sorry to drop in on you like this. But we do have a bit of a crisis on our hands. That is one way to make a statement. The proper rituals must be carried out, or the Great One will be displeased. Mmm. I'm sorry. These three are... The actors are really killing it. After range should reach the tower. I now come on, you see, I'm telling you the truth. Tell around, gentlemen. Hang on there, hang on a bit. Take a moment or two for a bit to steady. It seems to scan right through the spectrum. Dear 
Where's the time? I will say, without proof, it does seem kind of far-fetched, so... <laughs> What's the area below the tower? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, we were supposed to join him there, after we'd rescued you. Oh, you didn't, did you? Didn't what? Rescue me. Tarek got killed, you got caught, and the doctor saved you out of it. He can clear off in the TARDIS whenever he likes. Oh! How dare you, Adric! I'm all right, aren't I? Oh, yes, you are all right. You haven't done so much better yourself. You stow away in our TARDIS. Now, you look, expect us to... I've been offered a partnership, power, and eternal life, they said. They are vampires, Adric. Do you want to become one of them? You said yourself. You're on the menu. If it's a choice between that and joining the diners, I mean, there's no sense in two of us getting the job. Oh! Doctor gets back from the TARDIS. He is going to need your help. Is he serious? Is he serious? Wow! I'm sorry, Tom Lady. One of my family's died for you a lot already. I reckon one's enough. Wow. Patrick, do you know what happens to vampires when they die? But they don't die, do they, Orgon? Oh, they can. Release him, and prepare him for the ceremony. I mean, he might be bluffing. Maybe. I don't know. I can't get a good it read. time. If we shot him to tree trunk... I don't even know it would be enough anyway. How could we repair it? A catapult? <gasps> of course. An arrow of steel. We need a group of your best men. A sort of commando for. You lead us then, Doctor? Yes! No! Right. <laughs> a butt, armored, immune to hypnotism, yes, and a dead shot with a nose laser. Good. Canine. Oh, canine! Oh my word, canine! He better not get hurt. I'm so over it. Go, canine, go! Go, canine, go! Go, canine, go! Go, canine, go! The others have gone. Therefore, the ceremony must have started. I want to hold this tower until canine gives a signal. We will not take orders from that thing. Hey! You will apologize for that. Never. Shh. Don't forget, canine gives a signal. Exactly. They better not be sass and canine. Oh my word. We do not have time for that. Oh wow, Ramana's got a new outfit too. Great. Listen, I've got a plan. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. He was I think he was bluffing before. Dare or, you interrupt or maybe we are attacks, my lord. The doctor with rebels and villagers. Exaggerating. Some strange mechanical beast that shoots men down. The guards must hold the tower to the last man. We are outnumbered. Unless you aid us, we shall all be killed. Then die. Ooh! That is the purpose of God. Go. Wow. That was a chilling line delivery. Wow. And they have taken the tower. They will come to attack us. I'll attack the tower for this is for my son. I tried to help him. Oh my. The sacrifice is made ready. Oh, Adric! You tried. You tried. Oh boy. Drink a soul that grows strong. You know, at least they gave her some beautiful lip gloss before sacrificing her. That's nice. Oh my word! Yes, King, sit on your throne. <laughs> yeah, okay, get up. You gotta skedaddle. Great. Canine, you're gonna get out of there too. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
expression what goes up must come down. <laughs> this is crazy. I said about K9. Go on then. Well done, dog. No thanks. I've recorded. <laughs> yeah, that should do it. That's all the knowledge you'll need in there. Use it well, and if that's what you want, you can be a high technological society in no time. We'll do our best. Good, good, good. If we can get the main ship working, it's <coughs> easy. Inside, you too. We'll just have to go on the way. Is there any way out of the sea space? Perhaps one day we can get back to Earth. We came here by accident, but you were brought here by the great vampire's brain, and his secret died with him. Such good luck. Thank you. Oh. Okay, guys, well, I absolutely adored that story. Adored it. I loved the vampires. I said this in the last reaction, but the actors, um, uh, I just absolutely love. I think they definitely were dramatic and they were, you know, hamming it up a little bit, but it was so good and so convincing and so creepy still. Like, I just absolutely adored them as the villains of this story. And I have to be completely honest, I... Um, really, really loved uh, all of the, the villagers in this story. I genuinely could have um, had this story be a bit longer and spent more time just with the dynamics of that. Um, you know, it, it's not a, a, something that obviously Doctor Who hasn't covered before, you know, people in power restricting knowledge to, you know, the people that they have power over and, you know, them being stuck and how do you get to a rebellion, how do you fight and all of that stuff. But I feel like they did such a good job with this one to just like really, um, you know, uh, make it feel kind of real. And I know that sounds kind of bizarre coming from, you know, um, vampires in the mix and everything like that but it felt like a really grounded like they were really struggling and they were really trying to figure out what was the best course of action to get out of their situation and i adored it i really really did i loved a lot of little aspects of this obviously like some of the line deliveries as i said i, I really really liked the moment where the doctor and romano were kind of sitting and held captive, but he was kind of talking, almost like talking about the vampires, almost like they were a ghost story um, or or whatever. Like all they needed was like a campfire and some s'mores or something. But I just really um, loved just the vibe of this whole story. And I, I loved the having to kind of come up with them um, you know, sending the ship up and and uh, it impaling uh, the great one, the great one. Um, I did want to see a giant vampire and we kind of only saw the hand. So, you know, uh, but you know what? Probably for dramatic effect, that's for the best. 
it actually probably makes it a lot creepier that we didn't actually get to see it. Um, not that I don't have faith in some of the special effects of Classic Who. Okay, I'm not... But you know what I mean, like sometimes less is more. Um, but I was, I, I won't lie, I was kind of hoping to see a giant vampire at some point. Um, I loved that there were kind of sweet moments uh, between the Doctor and Romana. I felt like they actually, um, and, and it's not like that this has never happened before, but a lot of times, because Romana is such a capable companion, I've talked about that, she a lot of times goes off and does her own thing. And, um, you know, I, I think that they spent a significant amount of time together in this um, story, and I really, really liked that. Adric, let me tell you, Adric, with that scene where he was um, basically being like, well, they're, you know, at least I'm not a sacrifice, or whatever it was he was saying. Now listen, if the sentiment of it is not necessarily a bad thing, you know, even if there's, there's two people being held captive, one of them surviving, I mean, he was going to be the chosen one and turned into a vampire, I presume, and, you know, maybe that's not um, the best fate to have, uh, to be bloodthirsty, and it, listen, I know a lot of vampire lore, and it is not all it might crack up to be, although he might get some cool eye makeup in it, you know, in the deal, so, so that would be great, but uh, just his attitude there, I was like, oh my god, is he, like, trying to, like, uh, you know, fool the guards or something like that? Or is he just an asshole? <laughs> just the way he was saying it and the way he was conveying it. I was like, uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I really don't have a good read on him as a character yet, but I'm sure I will as, you know, the stories go on and everything like that. I am quite interested to see how he's going to be in the mix. And honestly, it, truly the best part of this story, 100%, nothing will top it, is that Kane I made it out okay. <laughs> and he helped. He was amazing. Listen, we've had a rough go of it lately with Canine getting decapitated, exploded, hurt in some sort of way. And you know what? I am over it. And I am really, really glad that he he did his thing, he was amazing, and he didn't get decapitated. You go, K9! All right. Uh, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!